what up? This is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise, and we got another brief intro. Let's make sure the volume up. Now, as you can see, we got Meek Mill in the building. Meek Mill from Maybach Music with Wale. He dropped his first album, Dreams and Nightmares, back in 2012. Let's go over the features. Now, we got Kirk Bangs, Rick Ross, Nas, John Legend, Jeremiah, Drake, Wale, Trey Songs, Mary J. Blige, Louis V, Big Sean, Sam Sneak, and Two Chains. So before this, Wale, or not Wale, Meek Mill. I like liking him more to like an East Coast YG. Uh, everybody knew who he was way back in like 2009, 2010. Uh, took him a few years to I, drop his first studio album. Um, I've heard about Meek Mill before, before he even dropped his first album. So let's get into it. <laughs> and I, I kid you not, this is like my third take on this one. We got dreams worth more than money. Uh, now. I did go off on this little rant. Uh, let's go over the features. Let's see how everything's gonna go with this brief intro. Now we got Tory Lane, Swiss Beats, Jeremiah Future, Chris Brown, Nicki Minaj, Drake, The Weeknd, Rick Ross, DJ Khaled, Puffy, August Alsina, and Jeremiah. Now imagine you're on the top of the world, right? You got everything you wanted. And we were waiting for this album. I thought this song was going to come in 2014. When it didn't come, I was like, what is up with Meek Mill? And he was dealing with some legal issues. Now, when he dropped this album in 2015, he had everything. He's on the top of the world. This album sold about 250,000 copies in his first week. He was a, he was, he was in a superstar status. Um... He was going out with his dream girl, Nicki Minaj. There was a lot going into that as well. Allegedly, he snitched on Safari. Safari was the man that Nicki Minaj is going out with for about... She'd been out with him for like 10 years. And that's a whole nother story. I'm going to go over that with the brief intro of Nicki. But... Basically... Uh, he's at the top of the world. He got his dream girl. Now... The whole Twitter finger situation with Drake. Now this is a legend. This this comes from DJ Academics himself, right? Now allegedly, they were in the store, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, one of those three stores, and uh, Nicki had bought a bunch of shit. It came up to about a hundred thousand dollars plus. Uh, she wanted make she wanted Meek to pay for it, and. She wanted Meek to pay for it, and Meek only had, allegedly, he only had 80K. He had the money. He just didn't have it on him. And so he had to go back to some type of car. He had a bodyguard go get go to the car, get some more money. Um, Nikki, the gall of this, this, this female, allegedly to get mad. And allegedly, she said, Drake wouldn't do that to me. So you're on top of the world. You got your dream girl. Now you think about Drake. You like, well, did did he smash? Did he hit? See me, I'm not this insecure. I wouldn't care. Uh, me personally, I look at that situation, and I'm like, yeah, that's all this this that's all this bitch is about. It's probably not gonna work out. Let me see if I can get some other females before this goes downhill. That's what I usually do. Um, when a female starts to play games and becomes very confusing. Um, I usually just go for plan B. I'm like, oh, what do I have? Because this, is, this clearly isn't working. She's making this too difficult. Hmm. Oh, I got, I got plenty of other plans. Uh, I'll still deal with her on the side, you know, just in case. But if it really goes downhill, I already have another boat. And I can just go to another island. Uh, Meek thought about it. But imagine, you're thinking about it in a car. It's like, this nigga Drake... And then people, people on internet, people on the internet reach. You, you motherfuckers on the internet so, that don't produce any content, 
y'all, you guys create so much bullshit. Like, so much bullshit. So, they were saying, yeah, Drake washed you. Drake washed you. So, imagine Nikki saying, oh, Drake wouldn't do that. Then, the internet saying, oh, Drake washed you on that Rico song. So, Meek said that shit on Twitter. You know, you combine it with the drugs, and next thing you know, you gone. And it, it spiraled it. It got him into a beef. He, I think he assumed Drake wouldn't really respond with with a good, or Drake wouldn't have a good response. But the response was so good. Jeez. Came out of nowhere with it. He wasn't even prepared. Now, this is why I'm very wary when it comes to women. Um, I don't trust them. Generally speaking, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Because, man. And based off this story, I sort of believe something like this would definitely happen, right? Something like that. It, it makes a lot of sense when you put everything in context. So now we got Meek Mill's third album, Wins and Losses. Everybody's shitting on him. Oh, and then the game. There was another situation with the game. I don't know if I said this on the, the brief intro with the game. I, I might have. I don't remember. But I'm going to repeat it just in case, right? So everything went. It was a spiral. Everything was spiraling down for Meek. Meek put a response out there. Nobody nobody fucked with it. Uh, the game dissed him. The game is way better than Drake with bars. And the, the game fucking destroyed Meek. And then he went to Meek's hometown and ate a Philly cheesesteak. I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. That's some fucked up shit. Claiming Meek was a rat. Because there, there was a beef. There was another beef with the game and Sean Kingston. And um, Sean Kingston basically got jumped at a nightclub in Los Angeles. And uh, the Sean Kingston said that Meek's basically snitched. So now the game is under the pressure that Meek snitched. And police actually came to the game's door. They came to the game's door, man. And it was just... It was just spir- it, it, Everything went downhill, man. You gotta be careful who you deal with. But everything is mended now, so... <sighs> just explaining that, it just... It just... It really makes me think in hindsight. This is how I deal with certain things, you know what I mean? So... Now we go to wins and losses, right? Meek comes out with this album everybody's shitting on him uh he only sold about 80,000 he dropped down from 250,000 to 80,000 and let's go over the features we got Eric Thomas Sitara K- Kane High Little Uzi Vert Chris Brown Ty Dolla Signs Young Thug Wardon Banks Future Rick Ross Yo Gotti Aria Minor Litz Camaraz The Dream Verse Simmons Quavo Tiana Taylor, Adila, Snoop Dogg, and YG. So everybody's shitting on Meek. He's like, yeah, Meek, Meek's, Meek's, Meek's career is over, right? Uh, he ends up popping a willy in New York, and they put him in jail. So it's ironic. I don't, I don't know what's happening behind the scenes, but it's ironic that that happened. He popped a willy. He ended up going to jail. Um, they were able to revive his career after that. And now you got this new album, Champions. <coughs> <coughs> so, Meek Mill got back good with Drake. Uh, the game apologized, of course. Uh, he's not fucking with Nikki. Nobody's fucking with Nikki. Uh, to be honest with you, Nikki, it seems like women, women, like her tend to think that they can say disrespectful things and not apologize and that's part of the reason because Nikki beforehand on my brief intro there's two leagues there's a major league and a minor league Nikki is on top of the minor league below Tyga because she she burns too many bridges she does too many fuck shit she does way too much fuck shit <clears throat> so Check it. So we got we got this new album, Champions. He dropped it a year later. Thank God he got out of jail. Uh, for popping a willy. 
Jay Z, Beyonce co signed, everybody co signed him back. Now he's back in everybody's good graces. And let's go over the features. Now we got Fabulous, Annuel, AA, Cardi B, Rick Ross, Jay Z. A Jay Z feature. Keep in mind, this is something Carcino said would never happen. Future, Roddy Rich, Young Thug, Drake, Right Back Good with Drake, Kodak Black, LMA, LMI. 21 Savage, Melly, Jeremiah, and PNB Rock. Definitely a dope album. Um, feels like some East Coast shit, you know. I've listened to a few songs on this. And he decided to work with Cardi B. And Cardi B and Nicki were beefing at the time. There's so much shit coming at Nicki, man. Um, the Nick, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that for the brief intro on Nicki. But this Meek, you know. They even got in the beef with Wale, I forgot, during the Drake situation. Uh, Wale said some shit about... Uh, I guess I guess he said some shit. And then J-Rock came at him. I said this on a brief intro of Wale. I felt like J-Rock should have stayed out of that shit. To be, to be honest with you. Uh, I think that's about it. That's all I got on Meek Mill. Legendary rapper, another another rapper in the game. So much competition, so much more to go. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let's have a discussion. Do you like Meek Mill? Do you hate Meek Mill? Let me know what you think. Anyway, peace.